Welcome to episode number 13 of turning one penny in the thrift store into $35,000 cash. Oh, you fat man. I, 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 I got, I got, got the internet going nuts. All right, guys. So what is good, man? It is episode 13 of this series of turning a penny into 35K to pay off my house. Now, first and foremost, man, I appreciate all y'all for watching, but let's get into all the sales I've accumulated since episode 12 that happened about a week ago. And if you guys have not seen all the previous episodes, there is a playlist right here that you guys can click on and get caught up. With that being said, I made 81 sales this past week for a profit of $1,610.04. I also made $174.01 off of shipping, plus my savings of $17,984.01, and it is the end of the month. So it is a very good time for my pocketbook because I finally got paid off of YouTube, and that's why I cannot thank all you guys who just view this content so much for watching. It definitely does help your boy out. I got paid $4,456 from the grand old Google for making this YouTube content. So when you add up all of those prices right now, we have a total of $24,224.06. My guys, we are like, what, 11K away from reaching my final destination of 35,000 and I cannot thank you guys enough, not only for watching the series, but for shopping on the website and just showing support in general. Once again, man, every single like I get not only helps the algorithm, but I'm donating a penny to Feeding America. We've accumulated a good amount of money, but you guys are kind of slacking on the likes, which, I mean, it is what it is. I don't like most of the YouTube videos I watch anyways, but if you guys do feel inclined, please just take the time to hit that like button, it definitely does go a long way. It's free to do. And also, I put a lot of time into editing each and every one of these episodes. That's why I'm dropping one per week. But I might start amping that up a little bit more to really reach our goal. Hopefully before Christmas, man. We gonna see. But anyways, without further ado, it is time to hop in the trenches once again for a 13th episode of this series. So join me and let's get it. The money keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is bright and early. I went to bed at like 10.30 though, so I have a ton of energy for the Family Thrift Center on a half off extravaganza. There's some people lined up, so I'm gonna go ahead and strap on the GoPro, look like a crazy person, talking to myself in the thrift, but we have to commentate these items, even if that means I look like a weirdo. Let's get in the store, find some bangers, 50% off. We going in. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Oh, already. Vintage Reebok, reversible. I know y'all see that. Do that cereal racing? <laughs> Hold on. I might, I might. Adidas 25. Trippy. Dude, they have the Disney Animal Kingdom. Freaking safari jacket. I might. Polo Ralph Lauren. 20 bucks. Oh, wait a minute. Half off. Originally 40, that's still yes. All right, they got this Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh no. Super flawed. Got a pass. Levi's, 40 bucks, tripping. Personal file, tripping. Dude, suck, bang, and blow? Say less. Dude, the Raging Cajuns, pure unadulterated heat, $6. Oh yeah, deer hunting, an American tradition, baby. Hell yeah. 
Guys, two is better than one. <laughs> Look like Colonel Sanders and the Tommy for your mommy, five bucks. And you got the blue, five dollars, two fifty per. Nice. I got some other stuff too. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. The sleeve never deceives. Look at this pink, the one dollar. Tigger, this thing definitely has some stains on it. Looks like Tiger Woods might have been wearing this when his girl just clubbed the shit out of his car. Um, but nevertheless, dude, that's the price you pay for fucking stripper hoes. This is a banger. All right, guys, then I accidentally recorded in time lapse mode, but I found this 80s jacket and I started going absolutely quick hands revisiting many sections to make sure I didn't miss any bangers. Tommy, for your mommy, add that to cart. America, Eagle Crew Neck, add that to card. Then as I kept browsing, y'all know Russell Athletic, a classic, had to chunk that dude in card. I found this cow crew neck, yes. Then the chaps, Ralph Lauren, absolutely astonishing, okay. Polo, Ralph Lauren, too clean, boy, too crispy. Then I went to the t-shirt section and I contemplated a jersey purchase. And I'm doing this a little voiceover because in time-lapse mode, the GoPro doesn't capture audio, which is absolutely horrendous. But I did pull a bunch of bangers in the t-shirts, starting with this blue NASCAR tee. Chunk that on top. And then we have even more Chicago White Sox all embroidered jersey. Yes. Another NASCAR tee, that boy Byron, number 24, dead stock, Cincinnati Reds, new with tags, chunk that on, that was like six bucks, hold up, powwow tee, yes, a beautiful, another fire encrusted NASCAR tee, and yet another, another NASCAR tee, I'm telling you guys, we were smacking, they even had a little iron maiden piece of deliciousness, and then I grabbed that Lions jersey. All right, so the cart is looking impressive thus far. It is completely loaded all the way down. My parents are visiting young Griffin. Oh, the Jordans? What the hell? Someone went full custom with a Bic on them. Um, but my dad requested I get him a golf tee whilst they're visiting my son, or a golf polo that is. So guys, the Mickey Mouse just swinging the five iron? Hold on, this is super clean. It's only gonna be 225, super soft textures, yes. That's a hole in one balling. But yeah, we're gonna see what else is like in the pants section, maybe the kids. But if I just check out now, y'all know what's good. My favorite pieces of the day have to be all these NASCAR tees that are just stacked. The Reds jersey. Hold on, man. There's just so many cool low key pieces that I found in here. I'm, I'm super excited, honestly. Like, this store hit way harder than I was projecting and expecting. Okay, it is disgusting outside. My lens keeps fogging up. I almost just fumbled the bag. Um, I got a ton of stuff. Like, look at all these bags. So I spent a total of $92 up in there, which means I had roughly like $180 worth of gear originally that I did stack up, smack up, and grab a pawn and on. So if you guys want anything, thrifttypeofvintage.com. The van is stuffed to the gills. Stuffed to the brim, overflowing with thrift garments. Let's get on to another one though. All right guys, so here we go again. Uh, sorry man, my voice is a little uh, crusty. Feeling a little bit under the weather this morning, but speaking of this morning, man, I found a couple of bangers at the Salvation Army, which is where I started at, but I couldn't find my GoPro. Because my girl cleaned the house, which means I have no idea where things are, but I'm not gonna throw it under the bus. I could have looked for it last night. Anyways, um, I found two Nike pieces, a vintage white tag sweatshirt, and then just a clean Nike windbreaker there. Spent nine bucks. But um, now we're going in to the family thrift. We're gonna see what's going on up in here. Fingers crossed, y'all know they have that sauce. All right, guys, so we are in here, and behind me in tow is a caboose full of vintage heat. I already have loaded up in the store. I had to go to the youth section to get some space to record because it's inordinarily crowded up in this thrift. But nevertheless, there's been some weird altercations and thrift situations already. I heard uh, you're gorgeous a couple times and it was this extremely elderly, actually, let me not do that. It was a nice young, like 50 to 60 year old woman. And I was like, I know she's not talking to me. Then I just hear YouTube. 
So I look up, then an older lady than her goes, yeah, we're just saying you're gorgeous. I'm like, bro. All your friends think I'm just too young for you. Now the lady did quickly inform me that she was married and I was like, but you're still trying to holler. She's like, no, I'm just trying to have a good day. So take that for what it's worth. I also saw the sleeves that never deceive popping off in the jersey section. As I try and go up, a lady and her friend sprint over in front of me, put their whole cart like this, blocking the jerseys. So I go to the very edge right here. I start slowly peeking. I saw the Puma logo. Guys, wear it, find it. So I was just like biding my time trying to get up in there and uh her friend blocked it off too so there's a cart lady lady i wait go around the other side and what i found my god right in time for the world cup you got the tim howard no you got the tim hawaro what but you did have the christian pulisic the american phenom puma jersey you have another u.s men's soccer jersey right here you have yet another popsicle colorway of the u.s men's soccer jersey straight out of 2014 and then you have the isaac the truth bruce so i'm not sure what the ladies were looking at but all of these were within their blocked jersey realm i just waited i grabbed them and then i looked through all the jackets and they're still there contemplating some uh some bs so thank god they don't watch the videos but nevertheless man fish our friends not food we're gonna grab those these and obviously not the hawaro that sounds like i don't know some type of cactus you struck my cactus but let's talk about it guys in the jacket section two birds one bat adult nature films then you got the center check cardinals kind of like 2000s team nike i found the champion mini truck exhibition bruh it's in our dna nice this nice. is a clean little five dollar hoodie with the center zip and then hey it's big bird gang y'all know what time it is that's some good eating right there baby the bald eagle whoo raptor three dollars i'm gonna grab that they have like 30 dollar nike jackets all types of other bs we're gonna see what else we can find i'm biding my time because Lil kinky twist is about to pull up in the mix guys who would have thunk, man? The thrift well, no is locked and loaded with the Epson printer special. Dude, straight out the inkjet. Are you joking me? The Rodzilla? Oh my lord, man. Almost sublimated in terms of the printing. And you know it's vintage. Because it's on that silver guild and tripping. One buck. Dude, I should join the Autobahn Society. Bird, man. With all this bird watching your daddy Cantu's doing four bucks. Couple slight little smidgens. But for four dollars, I mean, you can't be mad at it. All embroidered majestic jersey look at this i got that blockhead U. it's a peanuts tee but it should just be a nuts tee because that is what this shirt is covered oh, in yeah. just a straight reproductive fluid receptacle that is outlandish oh bird gang again bird man they all flock to grandma bird man look at those little hooters tree bucks dude this jacket is so sick it's like a pollinator garden on denim seven bucks seven. flower encrustations grandmother's couch susan graver Sweet. my lord i told y'all that man will pull up got him live in the building and then uh i was browsing the women's section just waiting on his little fine ass to show up and i found this ten dollar light wash levi's lamb fur encrusted made in sri lanka the sri lanka special that's all right ten bucks we'll think about it and then the three dollar banger dude arrows pointing both north and south Hey, look at the crotch, look at the head, look at both at the same time. Can you turn your head horizontally? Um, I think I'm gonna grab this dude. All right, guys, we're about to check out and they finally brought out the goods. I'm not gonna lie, we've been, or I have been waiting here for so damn long for them to roll out some racks. Yeah, I just got here. They got that Notre Dame tee. Then we got that Let's go. Westward Ho. Yes, sir. Shout out my ex, she migrated to LA. She's a Westward Ho. <laughs> you really miss this. I ain't miss it. I saw the it. come and go. Oh. Westward ho tripping hands. All right, guys, we're out of there. Um, I spent ninety-eight dollars and twenty-three cents. Got eighteen bangers up in this store, which is pretty impressive. I did invest a good amount of time waiting around in there for a Notre Dame tee and that come and go banger. But anyways, it's time to go westward ho to the next thrift store. Now we
Okay, guys, we have arrived. Next spot, of course, uh, there's a burp. Ew. Family Thrift Outlet on Hillcroft Street. And Kinky already found something, man. It's, uh, that Snoopy? It's that peanuts with no nut. Perfect. Guys, look at this. This looks like formula feces. That is a data reference. You have that Carhartt in the nice olive green or <laughs> formula fecal matter colorway. Beautiful, high quality, and the double knees for extra protection while you are performing adult activities. Gotta love it. You gonna respect my crew neck credentials, bro? Good friends are like fine quilts. They never lose their warmth. <laughs> Anyways, what you got, man? That American Wilderness? That's right. Where it find it? Exactly. I promise, there's one jersey that I do regret letting go. And it was this one, man. This was my MySpace background, just to date myself. Didier, motherfucking Drogba, bruh. Mata. Into a trap! What happened, your highness? Bro, come on. Oh, the come Notre on, Dame? Son. Hey, that's your second one of the day, boy. Thanks. Your little leprechaun -ness is coming out, son. You're finding your kinfo. Hey, bro, we get finding. <laughs> what happened? Hey, bro, I'm really the crew that king out here, bro. Ooh. I got that crested butt. Oh, my God, come dude. On, son. Leave it to the king to get that beauty. Hey, let me see that. Is that Thailand? Yes, sir. The land of thighs. Hey, check this out, man. This is like an elephant's worst enemy, a diamondback rattlesnake. Never would they ever come across one another, but imagine if they did. 2001 colorway. It's gorgeous. Starburst color scheme. You got a monkey rocking this nice little, I don't, I don't know the proper terminology for that, but like Asian agricultural worker hat. Bro, that was swagging. They're made of straw? Yeah. I thought they were made of a more durable type of cordage. Am I wrong? Dude, you got that Santa Cruz Jeff Kendall design? Fire. What? Did it again, man. Caught me, caught me with the old okie doke. Look at this, vintage Nike jacket. Right, am I right? This thing is beautiful. Look at the back design. But then look at the front. This is like one of those old school, early 2000 and like teens pranks where they would be skating and just fumble coffee on themselves publicly. Oh my God. That's a very specific reference. Size medium. God, no. Can you actually imagine if some gophers were playing hockey? That shit would be crazy. Have me lord. First off, I got that nice vintage umbro. Nice. Yes. Shit crazy. Like a chalkboard design. Then we got that Grateful Dead St. Louis Cardinals jersey. Wow, I wonder if this was like a promotional piece. Five bears, one bat? Hold up, man. Then we got the better Harley Davidson. That hill, Billy Harley. We got that Cardinals. Then we got that Formula One. Oh my. Oh God. Just he all types of damage. Heavy, uh, heavy stainage. It looks like someone got ran over during a Formula One race, bro. <laughs> That's terrible. This is like my Nike jacket. It's like I want it so bad because it's cool, but it's just hideous. Hold on. I hate I a Goofy, goofy especially. especially. This end up. You got that booty freaking legibility. <laughs> what? We got historical finds, bro. You got like the Ukrainian military. Freaking Slav Ukraine. Nike boys. Y2K. Oh, that's made in Max. White tech. Hold on. Hold on. Country of origin. I think that's Max as well. Yes. Nike tennis. Smack it with the racket. It's got your name on it, bro. Paul Pinto. Paul Pinto? Yeah. That's like if I had babies with the bean. What? Anyway, so that was bad. But uh, what's not bad is this Harley piece, okay? Look at the front, and this is 100,000% vintage. Look at the back. That Hangtown Harley. Jesus, it's low-key morbid. Dude, I don't know who created this tee. This almost is like a 2000s era rap tee. It says, tell me to go fish, and I'm gone. Got Garfield fishing and gambling. Huh, intriguing. Oh, Jean-Michel Vasquez. I speak French, dude. I kiss French too. Try me, bro. Try me. Had a nigga try me. Try me. Damn, dude, that looks like an asteroid shower. Hey, crew neck courtyard jester, bro. What you mean? What you mean, boy? Russell made in USA Chicago Bears. That's like Orion's belt. Plus two extras. Okay. What happened? This shit unique, bro. They just decided to throw some purple in there. That shit look like Mardi Gras. Oh, that shit do look like Mardi Gras. There's an S in it, bro. Dude, you know I like this piece, bro? 
Because it got that purple, bro. This shit Mardi Gras colorway, bro. There ain't no purple on these What beach. you mean, dude? There ain't no purple on here. That, bro, it's because if you mix the red with the blue, you get purple. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's color get, theory, get dog. Get shit out of my face. Look at that. Nautica's crazy. They threw in that, like, Creole Cajun soft seasoning, bro. Man, that's crazy. It looks like crawfish Mardi Gras, bro. What? That shit's crazy. <laughs> What's that? No thoughts, no desserts, no ideas, no problem. First of all, I don't know where you saw desserts. <laughs> Bro, how did I make entrance into desserts? I think mean, I just saw that. I don't... Does it make sense? <laughs> I'm stupid. Stupid. Hey, but you know what them tongues trying to do? They trying to taste. Taste a little bit of that Mac McDonald's, a little bit of that Cactus Jack, boy. Shout out Travis Scott. I ordered the Travis Scott meal at McDonald's September 8th, October 4th, 2000. Hey, we did order 20. That. Dang, it looks like someone spilled a damn Big Mac on this shit. Oh, hold up. Oh, you got another one? Dude, someone fumbling the, the damn sweet and sour sauce. What the hell? Tripping. Keep your nuggets under control, stupid ass. Okay, um, got the puffed up printing. I don't know, I don't really want to be like a mustard and ketchup advertisement. Shit got that UPS colorway. Okay, here we go, man. Nike, Nike boys. boys we don't do oh, this stripes. is one of the cleanest details. I don't even know what the point of this is. Oh, another thrift two for one special. NASCAR 2009, the Coke 600, then the center check? Bearcat? Dude, it is senior baby. Praise hell, praise Dale. What is the appropriate age to not be ironic when growing a mustache? Cause I mean, he's rocking it. He doesn't look like a clown. He doesn't look like he rides, you know, a unicycle in his spare time. Not that there's anything wrong if you do, that takes skill, okay? Put some respect on the one wheelers. Dude, we're about to head out of here and dude, look at the three for one special on the freaking M&Ms, dude. Buy one, get two free. Why are you gonna put the wax side up? Damn, loose ass and egg. There you go, Kyle don't shave my bush coming through. All right guys, I feel like my voice is slowly going out. It's sputtering, it's pattering, it's puttering. But we're at the next thrift, man, the family thrift. Sinta. I got uh, 54 items at the last spa. <coughs> God damn, dude, I'm falling apart. Well, let's get in here. All right, guys, we have entered the building. Check the ambiance, the scenery. They brought out a new rack and on it, we got a couple items. Nike, very clean, early 2000s track jacket. And then you have the OTs, the Levi Strauss orange tabloids, 36 by 30. Wow. These look dead stock, bro. Dark indigo denim. Nice. nice. And then you got a little something for Junior, baby. The Qatar Airways. Look at this banger, man. They got a North Face Gore-Tex Pro Shell. Perfect. $25. Oh, wait a minute. They are taxing, they are tripping, but honestly, Still not a horrible deal. Oh yeah, dude. It has another jacket zipped into it. So you get the two for one. Yes. Little Umbro made in Thailand. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, I'm going undefeated in the thrifts today. There's not been a single store. There's not been one single store where I have not found a soccer jersey. You got the Manchester United. All embroidered Adidas size large, only three dollars the chevy jersey with the helixes yes all right guys we got two more man a little spanish jersey right here center stripe and then the kinks found these o'neill sick ass off-road motocross pants dude villains multicolored on your cock all right i think i found the dopest piece in this whole store right now only twenty dollars they have the grateful dead biker jacket 2012 but then look at the back oh my god this jacket is gorgeous all right guys the last find in here the last find in this store what you got bro, bro i got something that every man needs what does every man need that ham holder and that ham holder yes sir hey. hey hold your ham like never before amen to that brother all right guys we're out of there 105 dollars down the drain Oh, some insane flame. Yeah, I'm in the game. Huh. My vocal cords going out. I got the clout. And now I'm coming through about to catch a trout. Cause fishes get you hella bitches. All right, anyways. Look at that. Look at those fines. I might not include my rhymes. What's up? Most of what you just said is true. Bro, half a rap is cap. You gotta take a crap. 
You found that poo in the other store. What you found? found that big poo. Big poo? Yes, sir. You've never been a whore, but you're a good friend like a quilt. If you was a chick, you'd be a MILF. Guys, check this out, bro. Straight in the next thrift. Hi, here's my face. You have the National Wildflower Research Center t-shirt. My voice is sputtering out, man. Size large, absolutely glorious, encrusted in predatory ladybug insects. Yes. Oh my God, Paul McCartney, the New you World Tour. Before, right? I want to brock them. No, not this one. 1993, the year of my birth. It. Oh my God. That's hard. That is lovely. Hey, do you guys got the answers? Cause we've been dying to know. <laughs> all right, dude, show me the goods. All right, all right. People want to see. Uh, heater. <sighs> then we got that bike, spades, and beer. Oh my God. Yes, I'm going to have to excuse myself with this t-shirt. Then we got this nice little oh. San Francisco shirt. Watercolor Beautiful. painting. Dude, there it is. Shout out Gawk Crew. Got the big dogs. Ho, 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 ho. The Georgetown. Oh, yeah. Got that Pink Floyd. 1994. Hard. Shit. The, the front trash. It's a Henley, bro. Yeah, front trash, but hard. And we got the NBC Sports. The NBC Sports, yes, sir. And then we got this. You don't know Soul Asylum, bro? Nah. Come on, dude. Do your research. My fault. It's all good. What do you got to say about the greatest team in the NFL? <laughs> oh, you mean the, the team that could only score three points? What do you mean, dude? Our quarterback was hurt, bro. He you broke got his hurt finger, in the bro. fourth quarter? What was he doing the rest bro, of the game? Bro, this is coming out week five, bro. What was he doing the rest of the game? So you got to predict what'll happen. Bro. I predict Cooper Rush, MVP. All right, I'm done talking. Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to record the conclusion another day. My voice is out. Hey, tell him, bro. Hey, live your life, bro, how you want to live it. But if you don't want to live your life eating ass and you living it wrong, straight up. That was beautiful. Thank you. Okay guys, so it has been a week and a half and I finally have my voice back. I legit blew it out in that video. So if you guys reach this point, just hit the like button for the fact that I used up all my vocal capabilities in shooting this episode. Speaking of which, man, this episode, I spent a total of $484.79. I think this episode was the most I've ever spent, at least at the thrifts throughout this whole series. So my current total savings is $23,739.27, which is super amazing, all right? So I appreciate everyone. Once again, I can't say it enough. If y'all want anything you saw in today's video, it is going to drop on Monday and throughout the week. I think this video originally releases on a Sunday, but if you're seeing this far in the future, none of this that I'm speaking about right now matters whatsoever. But nevertheless, thank you guys once again for watching, for joining. This has been a long episode. It took a lot of time to edit, so I just appreciate y'all for sticking through to the very end. And until next time, I will see y'all very soon. Live the dream. Eat that ice cream. I'm locked. I'm loaded. And I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.